Hello guys, it's Olga today with you and this video today is super interesting. I come to the super popular clinic uh, of IVF and surrogacy which called Biotex.com and from the beginning I want to say that this video is not sponsored at all. I contact this clinic because I had a couple of clients who was clients of this clinic. They had a good reviews about that. They told me that it has only foreigners. There are people from all over the world coming and I start reading about them. I found that they're really big guys. They have represent representative offices almost in in, um, all around the world literally and um, also I believe that everybody deserves to have a baby and um, I have two kids by myself and uh, I really want to have a couples who are uh, not able to have a kids who is searching for surrogacy or IVF programs maybe this video would be useful and will show you a lot of opportunities which you may use in Ukraine and never think about it before so let's start so the clinic actually started 13 years uh, ago and they used to be some small clinic and they, as they write on their website by themselves, they didn't expect that they will grow up such big. And now they are big, I want to show you territory now so you can understand how the things is. See there are so many flags. <laughs> of so many countries as uh, managers of the company that told me that they basically have no Ukrainian clients at all. Uh, all the clients are foreigners, they speak um, all kind of languages, they arrange all kind of assistance for the foreigners, so I guess they deserve to be to have video on my channel. Here is a couple of the buildings of the clinic. Uh, this is uh, the main campus where the people is there. Uh, this is some kind of office and administrative building where is the head of the hospital and uh, accountants and so on. So it's kind of like an um, administrative place. It has very nice green territory. You will see it later a little bit. I will show you. And um, there are really so many people. I will try to not show you anybody because I respect the privacy. We don't need to show these people. But you can see all the cars. This is all uh, coming to the clinic. They are bringing drivers. They are coming back. And another part of the building is also there. Also, there are so many clients sitting on the waiting hall and waiting for their uh, consultants. This is a waiting hall, the lounge where people are waiting for their turn, the people are really, the clinic is really full of people. Um, don't want to show you faces, but you can in general understand. So here is Dasha, she is the head of, uh, okay, she will tell better who she is. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm the head of the IVF patient support within the English department at the Biotexcom clinic. So I'm basically the first person that you get to see when uh, you're contacting the clinic. And yeah, we're going to work on that together. Yeah, and Until I can here. confirm she really know all the clients, everybody talked to her. <laughs> so she's showing me everything quickly and she will show same, she will do same things with you, she will support you all the time if you will have, if you will be the client of the clinic. Uh, so this is basically our nurse room, one of two that we have in the clinic. So that, that's the place where we collect the blood tests and also where, you know, the nurses are providing the patients with the necessary medications. You could see it here, we have a lot of them stored, so yeah, so those are the medications. Now we are going to check uh, the uh, surgery kind of block. So I have my shoes over there, I will change them and we'll show you how this thing's done. Okay, so we are not going, we are not showing people, but that's the place where actually the real manipulation is done, right? Right. And, um, 
What's so basically it? this one, yeah. uh, the, the one that you, the cabinet that you can see on your left is the embryology. This is where we create the, the embryos. And there is also the procedure room where the embryos are transferred. You could also see the doctor going in there to, to make someone someone's dream come true. Okay, here is the rooms where the patients are there. So approximately this is what's waiting for you. Okay, so I know that uh, most of the foreigners who is coming to Ukraine or whatever travel abroad for any reason, they're always so much scared what's waiting for them. They don't know the language and uh, it's known that nobody in Ukraine speaks English actually. So uh, let us see how this experience is happening if you are signed up with the clinic for the medical services. Uh, what's waiting for you uh, if you will not get lost in the airport or whatever. And let us see, this is Dasha, she is manager and now she will share her experience how the things happen with the clients. Okay, so basically just for you to know, here in the clinic we have multiple departments, not only the English one, we also have the, you know, extremely specific ones such as um, Japanese or Korean, also Italian, also French, Spanish. So basically we speak all, uh, let's just say, the most popular languages that we... That's true, I already hear a couple of languages here. Yeah, and we definitely have people coming from all over the world. And so you shouldn't worry about having any troubles in terms of the language is because the clinic covers your stay, the clinic covers also the transfer in between the airports, the clinic itself and the uh, the place of your stay so the accommodation is provided by us and so we are in touch with the staff the hotel staff or the accommodation staff so basically what you need to do you just need to get the flight tickets and come here and then we'll arrange um, arrange everything. So one person is coming to airport, what's waiting for him? How he will find the clinic and you? And yeah, so. so basically once you, you landed, you went through the board control and then you should just go outside of the airport uh, on the street because it's pandemic, the, you know, the meeting people are not allowed in. Yeah. And so you're leaving the airport and you'll see the, the person with the Biotexcom tablet in his or her hands and then the person will guide you to the car with our driver who will take you to the hotel. So that's so actually as they easy. So interact even with the country exactly. by themselves, they have full support. And they also, it's also important to mention is that we have a 24 seven emergency phone number. We change, so um, within the English department, which we, let's just say, take shifts. And uh, there is always a person, you know, answering the phone. So if you're lost or if something is happening, if the flight was canceled, if they're not letting you in, you just sh should just call us and we'll... Um so what do you think that the clinic is full of foreigners, right? So yeah. how you can explain why your clinic is so much popular between foreigners? That's very interesting, really. Uh, <laughs> well, first of all, uh, Ukraine is considered to be the center of the reproduction reproductology reproductive medicine and then we we've been we've just celebrated the 13th uh, anniversary anniversary of the clinic so you can imagine over <laughs> more than 10 years we had many many you know we have more and more people coming because some of them are you know once they had their experience they can just um, 
let's just say, refer their friends, family to us, and so this is why we are growing. But in general, if you'll talk about that European, for example, uh, American uh, uh, medication is considered high quality medication. So what pushed these people to come to Ukraine? Uh, well, first of all, I wouldn't say that the service, uh, specifically the medic medical service that they provide is so, you know, <laughs> the quality of it is very, you know, high. I would say that the quality of what we are providing is much, you know, a way more advanced, let's just say. So they're coming mostly because we try to apply technologies. Well, we do apply the technologies and there are also the doctors that we have in the clinic. They um, they're trying to invent something new all the time. So they have um, you know, uh, they came up with the uh, new methods and, um, you know, in terms of treatment. And what do you think about prices? Is it cheaper to have treatment in Ukraine or it's not about price, it's more about technologies? Uh, it's both. Because if we take, for example, the US, it's obviously that uh, it's obvious that the prices here are cheaper and the prices would allow you to have more cycles if we are talking about IVF and generally the you know the healthcare system is more um, individual because we plan that you know the doctors they take every case individually so it's both okay so the uh, another important important reason why why there are so many people coming is because all of them are mostly looking for the IVF using um, donor egg and both the legislation system in Ukraine and also the clinics policy um, you know al allows that to happen and basically we have uh, a huge egg donor database with more than I would say like a thousand of active donors so people can actually uh, choose the donor that they like based on whatever preference they have and um, yeah and it it's also important that the egg donation is anonymous um, so for those you know people who who need this it's very uh, important important <laughs> yes uh, so as i said the clinic specialized in two ser two types of services it's uh, ivf and surrogacy i already talked with dasha who is specialized about ivf and now i will talk to svetlana who is manager about surrogacy so let us check um, what's uh, attracting foreigners here in ukraine for such kind of service okay uh, this Hi. is Svetlana. I'm Hi, Svetlana. Svetlana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so actually, what's attracting foreigners for surrogacy? Because I guess it's somehow more complicated procedure than um, IVF, right? So uh, there is questions about law, how legal is that, uh, how they can guarantee their rights, and so on. So, what yes, is the process is much more complicated because uh, for the surrogacy program, there is mandatory documents mandatory requirements which needs to be fulfilled from the side of the each couple uh, based on the legislation that's very good uh, all couples are protected for the hundred percent that the, they will take the baby and the baby will uh, like their names will be written in a birth certificate and they will be the only parents of the baby so to be qualified for the surrogacy program in Ukraine they need to be officially married couple means they need to have a proof marriage certificate official one so it needs to be official marriage and medical indication for surrogacy that means something with uterus some other like uh, medical issues uh, with which pregnancy is not recommended it's uh, it's not possible because it's much it, it is a lot of like dangerous for the health for the life and uh, yeah, if I mean, everything I mean, is ful fulfilled, yes, this couple can be and they need to be on a different sex because same, same sex couples, unfortunately, in Ukraine cannot uh, be qualified for the surrogacy program. Yeah, I actually read about that a little bit that uh, they should for sure not be able to have kids in normal way, right? Because yes, if they just don't want, they don't have time, they don't want pregnancy, you no, cannot help no, them with that. cannot help them, needs to be approved medical letter from the doctor gp any kind of doctor because many couples are coming after the cancer when the uterus are removed and that's like normal that they cannot carry the pregnancy because without uterus that's not possible so uh, we are offering surrogacy programs with own eggs 
if they still have own ovaries we can use onyx and if couple like for example during the cancer they can be removed uterus and ovaries too on that case the only option is donor x so we are offering through bc with donor x and with onyx everything depends on the medical indications mm. and uh, is it really cheaper in ukraine for them or it's not about cheaper it's more about high qualification of the doctors or what do you think brings so many foreigners for such program to here uh, it is yes if you will compare with the market uh, from the us from canada from many other countries it's much more cheaper it is much more safer uh, based because our clients are protected by the law ukrainian one uh, if you will compare uh, legislation with the Great Britain, they are not protected. It's like it's totally different, and I think they have more doubts and issues with surrogacy uh, over there. Here in Ukraine, it's much more safer, uh, and the price are very very comfortable for the couples. Also, like, with our clinic, we are offering unlimited guaranteed programs. That means that we are trying until the couple will get the baby, even mm -hmm. if that takes. A lot of attempts a lot of years the only issue is time yeah because everybody wants like to complete family <laughs> as soon as possible we can understand all our couples but of course if they are, if it's some failures after the first attempt second one needed more than one or two then we will keep continue trying keep continue trying and they they will not leave our clinic without the baby Mm -hmm. And is it in general in Ukraine hard to find um, somebody who wants to be a surrogate uh, ma ma mother, right? Through the qualification process of the surrogate mother, we do have a lot of potential candidates for the sur to, to become as surrogate mothers in our clinic, but not of them can be qualified mm -hmm. because they, uh, they undergo a very long uh, qualification process. We are checking documents. We are checking legal aspect of this potential candidate. We are checking medical part, medical history, uh, her medical history, previous pregnancies, uh, like any yeah, but, issues but <laughs> uh, related to this medical side. Also, uh, influence into the qualification process, and not everybody can be qualified. Let's say from the ten potential uh, surrogates, uh, can be qualified like maximum three. But if the clients come to you, can it be that, oh, you know, we don't have anybody available, wait for one year, maybe we will find some mother. It can be or for now, always the there is somebody. Time, yeah, for now, the waiting time is uh, very, like, very fast. And now the waiting time is from two to five months. So um, most of the clients uh, which is coming to our clinic, um, they... Uh, they are not waiting for a long time so maximum like minimum in two months because they also undergoing test checkups in our clinic we need to wait for the test results to check if everything is fine with the genetical side and then we may start uh, the medical part of this process meanwhile of course we are preparing surrogate mothers uh, egg donors of our clients yes or they undergoing hormonal stimulation so approximately like minimum in two months the embryo transfer uh, will take place maximum like five if couple have some issues they need to wait more time or if they are requesting for some like specific surrogate mother mm -hmm. so we need like more time to find appropriate one for this couple because we are taking into account the medical indications because surrogate mother medically have to be matched with the uh, parents uh, that's why sometimes it needed more time and each country have like uh, specifics in their legislation also there are some requirements as to the uh, legal status of the surrogate mother i mean marital status mm. so and it'd be like different i understand points. so actually since the first time when people are coming for surrogacy process and let's say they're the first attempt would be um uh, successful so still how long they remain with you in relationship with the clinic and so on yeah like <laughs> that's why the surrogacy program is not such a fast as the I, our IVF and or egg donation because with egg donations IVF we are guiding our clients to the 12 weeks of the pregnancy 
and then they uh, they are checked and monitored in their own countries home countries uh, till the birth of the babies but as to the surrogacy programs of course we are all the time in contact with our clients from the very beginning from the first request about all services which we are offering here in our clinic till the very end when they are coming here to pick up the baby and we are preparing all documents needed for them to get the passport mm -hmm. and also it's like we are all the time in contact because with a newborn you know it's stressful especially if that is the yeah. first baby yeah sure. so you don't know what to do how to uh, to deal with a newborn so they need our support support of our pediatrician our nurses so and we are happy to, to provide such services as well as a part of the surrogacy programs and also i know that for ivf you actually can choose the sex of the baby right yes. what about surrogacy programs in surrogacy programs also the same so we have um, programs packages where sex selection also included mm -hmm. so yes that's that's also possible with the surrogacy so okay. if the couple wants like to like balance the family yes they have like a like, daughter or son and they want to balance it or sometimes couples might have medical indications why it needs to be done gender selection I understand some specific like medical issues so yes it's possible yeah, that's good yes. to know okay so actually I guess basically we cover all the questions as I said the guys have by the itself uh, the YouTube uh, channel where they share much more valuable information you can always be in contact of them if you're interested to know more but I guess we cover everything so thanks Svetlana yeah, most, for joining. Uh, common questions have been covered if you have any other questions I am available in WhatsApp <laughs> I am available in uh, email boxes uh, everywhere you can you may find my contacts so I am happy to answer questions I am very fast of answering in all your questions even if you think you have a lot I may answer for all of your questions <laughs> yeah thanks for giving the You're interview welcome. Thank you. um, also I want to show you the places where the clients are living they can live in their own accommodation if they want to rent any apartment it's possible also the clinic provides accommodation and also there is a hotel uh, where also a lot of couples live in so let us go and check the hotel also so we can see the happy couple who have kids how they stay here so now I am in the Hotel Venice now I will show you a little bit territory and inside how does it look um, and just shortly this is a uh, one place where so many parents come to meet their kids who was born by surrogacy they are staying here with these kids and they have some kind of mandatory doctor checkup uh, some help with the documents because once you uh, got the kid as a foreigner it still takes some time from one month to two months uh, to make necessary documents to be able you and the kid all together as one family come to your home country so during this time you can stay with the kid here and uh, uh, this place it has some nice uh, um, atmosphere it has nice uh, area where you can have a rest it's located around shopping mall I will show you later a little bit and a lot of clients they really love to go to big shopping mall where is a huge entertainment center actually and uh, so let us check what's there <laughs> there is a hotel places where the parents have some relax uh, there is rooms for photo session for stuff for barbecue the massage room gym. oh there is a gym also <laughs> Wow, this is a very nice entrance to the gym. Uh, this is, as I understand, the barbecue place where people can have and also the tent. I will just show a little bit more close. It's a comfortable place where you can sit. Nice. Oh, there is somebody sitting. <laughs> okay, so that's the territory. I'm working with the hotel manager. So she's showing me everything. And the hotel by itself. Yeah.
Mm -hmm. That's the restaurant for VIP clients. And we are going inside of the hotel. This is, as I understand, hotel lobby. Mm -hmm. Now there is restaurant. Yeah, the, there was a dining. It finished. So, oh. <laughs> okay, we will not show them. There is still some people. That's how they look. The dining room. Okay. And there is a lot of strollers. As they told me that many people, they don't think once they come to receive the kids, they will may need stroller. But you can take whatever he want. It's not uh, uh, reserved for anybody. But I see this is the rest zone. So what we have for the cards, we have for the table tennis, the coffee corner, okay, chips. <laughs> oh, that's a baby room, baby place. Uh -huh. oh. There is a billiard. Yeah. And there is a baby room here. Yeah, we hear the sound. <laughs> That's a baby room. This is the most beautiful <laughs> one. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. Just want to show you the most nice uh, thing. <laughs> there is a newborn kids. And as I understand, it is the time when they're going to eat. So. so That's the place where kids also have all the things. So what was that uh, baby room which I just showed you? There is kids who just newborn and they're still waiting that their parents will arrive from the abroad. And this is the one which I showed you, which they allow me to show. And there is kids which I didn't show you because they already have parents, their parents already living here with them. And they're bringing uh, kids to this room just to, for doctor checkup and for uh, some measurements for the uh, main things which you need to have for kids in the first uh, uh, time after, new, uh, after birth. So uh, there is really a lot of kids and this is really so much cute. There is uh, the hotel, there is normal rooms and there is VIP rooms. Um, for now we don't have available uh, all the rooms occupied. So I will show you pictures, how does it look so you can have some imagination. And uh, we will just show you the corridor, the area, the place. This is the place. That's uh, how it is. Will not make a lot of noise. I also want to say that uh, all the territory is 100% uh, closed. Nobody can enter here. There is only uh, like couples, uh, clients of the clinic is leaving. Also, there is video cameras everywhere. Um, there is full protection actually. So you don't need to be afraid of the kids. You don't need to be afraid that anybody can uh, jump out to the hotel or to the place where you are living. If you are so much concerned about your safety, uh, this kind of stay is, I, I believe it is super protected because I know that some couples, they come and they stay in their own apartments. It is absolutely fine. You know that Ukraine is not a criminal country where you need to be concerned about your safety. But anyway, uh, if you want to have 
all the things around you uh, together with other parents also with full support then here you will have all that the territory is really looks nice some pond and that's the sitting areas where i showed you you can have a barbecue for example and um, and just be together with your family this is a hotel building Also want to show you that in the entrance of a uh, hotel you can find so many strollers from this side also. Everybody as I said can pick any because parents sometimes they don't think about such necessary things. But this is what is required. This is also hotel lobby. There's a coffee machine. Sofas. It's all nice, uh, the big TV, and the hotel is really occupied. So really, it's here on the second floor, and there is some kind of which we call winter garden. Not sure if it can be translated correctly, but it's the place which is always green. People love to sit here and have some rest. Also, you can work here if you need and if it is required hmm? there is elevator uh, who is concerned about if you don't need to walk on the stairs uh, also there is the rooms where people live in as I said they all occupied we cannot show you how does it look but that's the area here is the corridor there is a corridor and now it's near serving the rooms but yeah That's what we have. also there is a swimming pool now it is under the maintenance but it is available here and um, there is a lot of also the, the seats the nice lounge area near the swimming pool so in the time if you will come i guess it will be working and it would be fine but don't forget that it's work only in warm time of the year in ukraine just to show you that the area has a big fence, the whole building, and really nobody can enter. Totally nobody can enter. It's super protected. And the whole building is located oops, in the area, which is somehow quiet, uh, private area with the private houses. Not much noise around. So today I was with Vaselina, she is another girl and manager of the clinic who is working with the clients and you will most likely meet her also if you will come here. Hopefully. So, yeah. <laughs> so she actually helped to show me around and she helped me to make this video. So uh, thanks for watching this video to the end. The one who watched this to the end was a very nice guy. And uh, uh, please share your experience if you find it interesting, if you want me to show you more videos about companies in Ukraine which can provide different kinds of services uh, which are popular among the foreigners and which can give us some good benefits okay guys love you all bye bye